My name is Raymond Davis. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you web scraping using Python. And once you install it, to confirm that Python is properly installed in your computer, just type Python dash dash version. Okay, right here you can see I have Python 3.10.4, right? That means I have Python properly installed in my computer. So next thing I'm going to do, I want to create uh, uh, the project and a folder on my desktop so I have to see my desktop okay you can see that I have already CD my desktop all right so um since I have on um, my desktop I'll make a directory so I'll create a folder there for web scraping all right so I've created a folder called web scraping so I have to see into that folder web scraping Alright, so I can open it with my code editor by writing code dots. Right, so this is how to open my, you know, my folder in Visual Studio. Right, so now next I'm going to do is to just open a new folder, right, by saving it, Ctrl X, and I'll save it as what scraping. py all right so i'll save it like that scraping.py all right so now i've saved a file in the folder called scraping.py now we need to install beautiful soup and request it's a library in python right so we have to install beautiful soup and request so um to do that we can actually do do that by you know we can head over to my terminal here and say p install pip install oops, beautiful soup beautiful soup for right so you can see to tell me requirement already satisfied because I've already installed this libraries in my system All right, you can see requirement already satisfied. So we'll also do the same by saying pip, you know, install request. All right. So it will tell me requirement already satisfied because I've already installed this libraries on my system. All right. So let's move ahead. All right. So since I have them installed, so the next thing I have to do now is just to what is just simply importing them to this place. So what I have to do, I will just say import okay request this. So I also have to what I say from BS4, which is the beautiful soup BS4 import. Beautiful soup, right? As B S, right? That means beautiful soup. Okay. So now I have it. So now we are trying to now go to you know get the the site we are actually trying to scrape from. So what I have to do is just to create a URL and say it's equal to request request. Trying to get the site I'm scraping for, right? So let's go to the browser and um, head over to this place. Uh, so I want to get the information from this page, right? So we, we know we have a lot of information on this page. Okay, so <coughs> from here you can see we have um how Baba Jide Oluwa so won Zenit Bank 2022, like that, like that. You can see we have a lot of headlines here. Village Capital will support startup targeting migration challenge in 2023. So we have a lot of <coughs> headlines here, right? So we want to get this headline. We want to get the headline. We want to get who published this headline. We want to get the date it was published and you know the content of this headline and the picture, right? So by doing that, first of all, let's get the URL of this particular site we are scraping for. So uh, we have to you know copy. The URL just I copy this URL from here, so I'll paste it inside 
this string here, right? So I have to paste it here. So I've pasted it inside the string. So I, I, I will just print the URL. So I'll say print URL. Alright. So um, we are supposed to get the response of 200. So I've hit, you know, run. So I click on run. So let's see. It will print a response of 200. That means, yes, we have a response coming from that site. Alright. Okay, that's good. So you can see we have a response of 200. That means actually we are receiving a response from the site, all right? So to be sure of what I'm saying, we can just add the test and see. Say dot test, all right? So we we'll save and run it again. A lot of you know information coming from the site. So that means we are actually getting the information we, we are looking for from the site. So these are a little junk of information all from the site. So that means actually we are what we are doing is right, okay? So next thing we're gonna do, we just take off this, okay? So next we're gonna do now is just to you know and create a variable for the soup. Say it will be equals to you know. BS because we have already imported beautiful soup as BS, right? So we see BS, you know, we have this URL and you know a a, a, a function called LX LSML, right? So this is a library from beautiful soup, so it's called LSML, right? So next we're gonna do now is um going to the site to you know get the information we are scraping so we actually want to get the headline of this so let's right click and inspect all right so let's inspect this particular information All right, so we are trying to inspect this particular information, right? So what we have to do now is, um, you know, right click on it and inspect, inspect. So or we are looking for, you know, the, okay. So you can see if I put this on article, that means this information is under this article, right? So that means the information is under this article. This article is like a container that house this whole information so when i put my tag on it you can see that everything is inside so we have to now get this article all right so we have to copy this article all right so what i have to do now just say article article will be equals to you know soup dot find so we we'll put a string and we we'll put this article inside now this soup now is coming from this variable holding the bs all right beautiful soup so we say article is equals to soup dot find we're trying to get this article now that is like a container housing this information we are looking for so you can see when i put it in article here you can see all of those things are highlighted all right so we have a class here so which we need to copy i copy this class so i have to type class so in python class is a function so we can and you know differentiate python class from what we are trying the class we are trying to get from this site okay so i say article equals to soup dot find article and the class right so we we come down and you know get headline you say this headline is a variable that will handle this article because as i said the article is a container that all this information we are trying to get script is under okay so you can say find so we're trying to find you know um the headline so we'll go to the site and right click so we'll right click and inspect 
So we are trying to check our headline now, which is this particular information, all right? So you can see if I put my cursor here, which is on this H3, you can see that this headline is actually on H3. So let's get this H3. So I'll copy the, you know, the class because we'll be working with the class. So what I have to do now, I'll put my H3 here, and you know, I'll, you know, put a class. Remember, I said we cannot write class without putting underscore because it's a function in Python. So you put underscore, and I paste in this class I'm getting from this headline. All right, so that's how it works. So I'm going to put dot test. So next, what I'm going to do now is just to print this to see if what we are doing is actually correct. So I'm going to print the headline. So let's save and run it and see what we have. Okay, now we can see that we are getting actually getting this response from the site. Alright, so you can see that tax implication of new CDN cash withdrawal limits on individuals. Alright, so you can see that we are actually getting this information from the site. Alright, we're scraping from it. So let's go down and try to get where that information is actually you know coming from. So we can do as we can just refresh, you know the site and you know scroll down and see okay so already you can see task impl implementation implications of new cdn cache so already you can see that we are actually scraping from the site okay so that means our you know um headline is correct okay so what we have to do next is just come down so what we need now is to get the publisher name which is gk olisa right so we have to get the publisher name so what we have to do is create author on the score name for the publisher will be equal to you know article you know why we're using article by now you should be familiar with it because i told you article is you know the container that is housing you know the information we are scraping all right so we now say author name is article dot find. So let's try and see how we can you know get the author name. So uh, I have to put my cursor on the author name. Put my cursor on it, and you know I uh, will just inspect. Okay, so you can see if I put my cursor on this div, all right, you can see that we have author class of author. So that means this author is inside this container, all right? You can see that all of them is housed in this div class, all right? So we have to now say find div, then comma, and the class underscore equal to a string. Then we paste this author class, all right? This class is coming from this particular place, okay? So you can see it. So now we've done a, done that. We have a spam, all right? You can see we have a spam on it, and we also have you know a ref, a link to the name of you know the publisher. So what we have to do is just say um, dot a dot test, all right? So it's another way of you know simplifying this code to get what we actually want. So let's print it and see what we have. So we'll print this um, auto name, auto underscore name, all right? So we'll save and run it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. You can see that we are actually getting the auto name now, all right, right from the site. So let's just make it by, you know, here we have, they say, by Chiki Olisa, so we can you know format this by just using um uh, auto name by or just put a string and say by then we can just add a comma and save. So if you want to run it, you can see we're having by Chiki Olisa. All right, so you can see that right here. So we're having by Chiki Olisa. That's how to you know add a test to a you know variable 
in Python. Okay, so good to go. So right now, what next we are looking for? The next thing we, we are looking for now is um the date this you know article is being published. So you can see we have December seventh, twenty twenty two. All right. So we're trying to get the date this article is being published. So the next thing we we'll do is just put your cursor on it and inspect it. So when we inspect it, we are having you know a div here i can see from here you see that this div is housing that particular date so we just have to copy you know copy this um copy the, the div and the class so we just say published date published on this code date will be equal to article dot find then we have a diff here and we have a class underscore equals to a string that will paste it right inside here. So let's still go back and see that we have actually pasted this, you know, um, diff class. You know, we've pasted the diff and the class there. So we can see that the article still have, you know, a, a ref, right? It has a, a ref. That's the, the, the date we actually you know it have a ref so we just cannot treat treat it the same way we did for this you know auto name so we just say dot a dot this and we just print out you know we kind of print the published date all right so we save and you know hit run Okay, you can see now that we are actually getting the right information. This is December 7, 2022. So when we check here, you can see it. We are having December 7, 2022, the same thing, all right? So that means we can scrape every single thing we are seeing on this site, all right? But, you know, you're scraping based on your description, based on what your clients want, all right? You're not just scraping everything I say, but you're scraping it based on what your client wants, okay? So now we can see that we are having, you know, the date really coming from the site. So what we have to do now is to just treat this so that they can be in uniform. So we just have to say dot stripe, have to stripe it and, you know, save and, you know, run it again. And you see that the date will align okay you can see that the date is not aligning with the rest information we are having right so now let's move ahead next thing we're going to do now is um trying to get the content of this you know um article so we right click and inspect all right so inside here we can see that we have a container a div class that is housing this particular attitude, uh, 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 article on uh, the content the content so we just have to copy this copy the class and we just we just the same thing by now you should be familiar with this so we just say content content equal to say content here is a variable right it's equals to article we now have a div class in it, and you know we have a, a, a class underscore equal to oops, underscore equals to a string. So we we'll paste it inside, all right? So we now say dot test. So let's print out the information and see if actually it actually coming up. So let's print the content. So save and let's hit run. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can see that we are having this information coming exactly from this, you know, um, article. So everything we need is coming in from this particular place, all right? So you can see that we have the information and all of that. So. I know some of you may want to know, like, uh, what about the remaining read more and all that. As I said, you can script everything. Look at the, the you know, a ref class that you can you know, read more from that particular, 
information so if we are actually adding a dot you know the rest which is you know again just if you want to do more exceptional thing you can click it and read more information about it okay so next we can see that we are having this information handy coming from this site all right so next thing we're going to do now is you know getting the picture of this information right getting the, the image right okay this particular image so what we have to do now is just to right click and inspect right well i click and inspect so we can see that we are having this image in this class right we are having this in this you know particular div class okay so what we have to do is just to copy this class okay so the image is in this container so we have to just copy copy this or we can just you know get, go in straight by doing in let's just say image now and you know image okay will be equal to article dot find right so now we know we have m okay put it in the stream we have like this and we have a class underscore equal to okay so um so we 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 gain getting this image from this mig all right so we are getting the mig we're just heading straight to you know get this image so we say mig and there is a class okay um we, let's see we don't have a class here so that would be the mig and okay here we have a class you see we have a class like this so outside here we have you know the source so we have to you know, use source to get this particular information so let's hit run and see okay so right here we can see that we are getting the image right here which you can see highlighted here so you can see so we are getting the link to the image right so the link to the image is right here you can see the link here. so that means we can access the image the, the picture okay from this particular site so i think with this we are good to go we have actually gotten uh, let's go up a little so we have actually gotten the headline publisher name you know the date it was published and the you know the con the text starts the the information you know from this particular place and um next we have also gotten the image so now let's just try to get all this information now since we have you know uh, gotten this uh, information so let's now get all of them so what we have to do is just take up the sprint we can comment them you know comment this and you know comment this too and comment this and comment this all right so what we are trying to do now we have to look through to get all the information that is coming from the headlines the contents the pictures and all of that so we just have to do it this way for we say for article then we take up this in soup dot find underscore all right so what i did here i say i'm trying to look through this you know 
article. So I say for article in soup.find.org. That means I'm looking through all the information that we have. So provided that article is here in each of the headline, each of the author name, each of the published date, each of the uh, content. So that means it will look through all the information. So previously we are having one headline printed, we are having one author name printed, one published date printed, and one content printed, right? So what we are trying to do is to look through all of them and have all the information. So let's head over to the site. You can see from the site we have different information here, um, different headlines, the articles, tax, implications of new CBA cash, we have half, Obadji Day, Oluwa, so what's the next? have village capital with support startup and all of that so we want to look through all of this information and get all of them right so that's the follow function so i said for article in, in soup.find all okay the part on means find all of this headline and all of the auto name published date and content right so we have to now scroll down for the follow in the follow line we have to scroll and add you know the python Function. So let me do this. Let me do this um, backwards. Now, in informative way that our 
Ewa, they also named him Naira Madrid, alright, date is December 5th, 2022, so we have the content we explain if this is a buy or down, okay, so when you scroll down, you can see the other headline, three action you must take to keep another job if you get fired, also named Ngozi Ekobo, published December 10th, so you can see that we are having all the information and also we are having the content, job hunting, why unemployed can be a challenging experience with me. So now what I want us to do now is, you know, to include the link to each, you know, content that the client can click to read more, okay? Because this con content is truncated, alright? So we cannot read all of them here. So we need the content link that the client can also, you know, click to read about those information. So what we have to do about that now, we head over to, you know, where we have the content and we know push down and just create a variable called content, content underscore link, alright? So it will be equal to article dot find, article dot find. So let's go and look up how to get this particular you know um, link to each of the you know um, what's it called um, article right the content so now we have okay right here you can see that in this article read more we click on the read more button because that is what we are actually looking at where the client can read all those information to you know have more details about what we have said you know to read more so we have a div class here already and we have a A and ref A ref. So to have this request, just as we, we did for the image, is as simple as this. So what we have to do, we have A ref. So we just come in here and we say, you know, put it here. Um, outside here, we we'll print this and say ref, right? So let's print this out and see what we have. So we are trying to get the content link so that the client can read more of this information. So from what we've done so far, you can see that the way we treated this image, you know, this that same way we try to handle this request to right. So let's add it among the content here and print it out and see what we have. So copy, copy and you know paste and change and add the link here. So we say link, right? So this same here by Sure, this particular one should not have a new line except just one thing that we want. It's not necessary. Okay, this is part of the last information should not have a new line except the one you can leave it that way. Right, so we save and run it. Okay, so what we are actually looking for now, what we did right now is just trying to get okay, we kind of have it here. Character is not allowed. This will be just for a dot wrap character. So I don't need that. Bye. 
outline the author name, the publish date, content, and in their system one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now that I've done this is done already. Yes, we just pull three lines of code. We open this file. We now you know create a writer, CSV dot writer. That means we are writing to this open file. And what are we writing to this file? Which is this heading we actually created. So next we we'll go down here. And you know, we'll go down here and add, we'll add the writer here by saying, you know, C uh, CSV, you know, writer dot write rule, right? Good. So we we'll do this. Now, in this particular thing, if you observe, what we did up here is the same thing we are actually doing down. The different now is this one is the heading, right? So we use a string for the heading. So the down one now, we are actually working with the variable, which is this variable, headline, author name, publish date, and all of that. So we don't use string here because we are working with what? The variable. So we have the headline, you know, as the first one here. Make sure you write them correctly. So we have the, you know, author name. So we have the, you know, uh, published date. Have the um, content. We have the content link. Content link, and we have the image. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you can see that where the difference between this um, this same function is the same function we have over. The difference is that I'm getting the variable. In this place, that means every variable we are having inside this content will be, you know, that's what we display in this place. So, this is the heading. This one here is the heading. Why this particular place is the data, which is the data that will be inside. So, you will see it briefly now. So, now we are done with this. Let's create this. Let's make a function for this to make it more, you know, so we can just make a function, which is a function in a, a in Python defined function. So let's say check this out, okay? Let's call this function check underscore Alright, so we'll do it this way like this. Okay, so now we need to indent anytime we have a function, we need to indent, indent whatever thing we have under this. What we have to do is just go like this. I'm going to press Control and you know, um, press bracket. All right? You can see that it's automatically indented. Okay? So I press Control and you know, this and bracket. I'll show you the bracket I actually put. So since we have that one already. Under the function, so once we have this indented, that means everything under here will be also indent under the for loop. So I will highlight all of them, all of them, and you know, once it's been highlighted. 